Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to root your Xiaomi Mi 3. So this video is common to all variants of the Mi 3, no matter where you purchased it, be it Singapore, China or India. So it's common for all variants of the Xiaomi Mi 3. So uh, basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to uh, we're going to be flashing the developer ROM uh, from Xiaomi. So this will not void your warranty. You will get root access. Apart from getting root access, there are also other advantages to using the developer ROM. Uh, say, for example, weekly updates. Uh, but and uh, you might run into an occasional bug, but I've been using the developer developer ROM on my Xiaomi Mi 3 for uh, about five, four or five months, and I've had no issues. Nothing major. It's very. It's generally very stable. So before we start, make sure you back up all your apps and data because. At the end of this procedure, your apps and data will be retained, but there, there is a small chance that it might not. So just to be safe, make sure you back everything up before you proceed. So generally, you have a security app on the Mi 3. And in the app, the root permission is grayed out. That's because you are running a stable ROM. You're just going to jump to the developer version of the ROM so that we get root access built in. Okay, so guys, the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description and click on the link there. That would take you to this page. So most of you will have a WCDMA variant of the uh, Xiaomi Mi 3. That is the one with Snapdragon 800 inside. If you have a variant with Tegra, a Tegra 4 inside, that is only the Tegra 4 variant is being sold only in China. Uh, if you have a TDA CDMA variant or the Tegra 4 variant, you'll have to uh, use these links. The one that says TD. For the rest of us, it's going to be WCDMA slash CDMA China. All right. Yes, there are links for uh, other variants as well. The ones that are sold uh, all over the world, like the one in India over here. But these do not have a developer ROM. So uh, if you find a developer ROM under your country, that is fine. Most of uh, most of the time, you are not going to find that. So select WCDMA slash CDMA China. All right. And over here, click download full ROM the developer ROM click download full ROM all right so once you've done that uh, I've done that already so let me just get to that so this is the file that we download from there so uh, right now connect your Mi 3 to the PC with a micro USB cable and wait for it to get detected so now once your Mi 3 shows up on your PC just open it go into internal storage and just copy this ROM file over copy paste so guys, once you've transferred this file over, go ahead, rename it to update. So update.zip, all in lowercase. So guys, now unplug the Mi 3 from the PC and hit power off. Okay. So guys, once the Mi 3 is off, hold the up volume and power key at the same time. Once you see the Mi logo, let it go. All right, now use your volume keys to navigate and your power key to select. So select English and select wipe and reset and just wipe cache. All right, you don't have to wipe anything else right now. So we are done. So now going back, select install update uh, dot zip to system one and hit yes. So this would take about five to 10 minutes to complete and it would jump to 98% in a few seconds and remain there. So that's normal. Don't panic. Uh, I'll be back with you guys once it's done. All right, guys, it's done right now. So going back and hit reboot, reboot to system one, the one that says latest. So, uh, so guys, uh, right now uh, we've not wiped the user data. Uh, we've just wiped cache. So all your apps and data must remain. Once the phone boots back into the developer variant of the ROM, if there are any issues, uh, if you find a lot of force closes, just go back and do a wipe data. Wipe all user data. Select that option uh, under wipe and reset and uh, that should help you get rid of your force closes. So that's the reason why at the start I asked you to back up all your apps and data because mostly we would not have to wipe it. But in some cases, if there are a lot of force closes, we might have to uh, uh, wipe the data. So we are back up guys, so right now, Let's quickly go into security again. Hit OK. And now go into permission. And now you see the root permission option is enabled. And we now have root access on the phone. 
One downside here is that you might get an app or two uh, that's in Chinese, but you can either ignore it or inst install Titanium Backup and uninstall it. But uh, barring that, your data will be retained. I asked you to back it up just to be safe. So in most cases, your data will be retained. And if for any reason you're done with the developer ROM, you want to go back to the stable ROM, it's the same steps that we just did. Just go back to the same uh, link from the download section and select your country, like India in my case, and download full ROM, transfer it to your internal storage, and flash it the same way, and you will be back without root access on the stable version of the ROM. So I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little tutorial on how to uh, switch your Xiaomi Mi 3 from the stable version of the ROM to the developer version and uh, and get root access in the process. So if you guys run into any issues, if you have any queries, please let us know in the comments below. And in the meantime, if you do want to pick up any Xiaomi products, you can do that from XiaomiWorld.com. I'll leave a direct link to that down below in the description. I'll also leave a discount code down below uh, that would vary from time to time. So. Uh, at the time you're watching this video, if there's any discount, I'd let you guys know uh, via the description below. And if you did find this video useful, if you liked it, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like these, do stay subscribed. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.